welcome back um i feel like every single time i say that i'm gonna try and post more regularly and then now that happens so here's a video but yes there are two new horses at the yard and i'm just gonna introduce them in a second i would like to preface saying they're not really my horses one of them is my sister alex's like 110 percent and the other one is kind of alex's as well but all of my siblings have ridden him and so he's kind of like a family horse at this point but he is kind of alex's alex is my sister in case you don't know i don't think she's ever actually been on this channel but she's very cool but yes let's go meet the two newbies so they are actually both in which is a bit rare because thunder is one of them and he has been living basically out 24 7 because he was a little bit stiff and so just being out in the field has actually loosened him up a little bit hello hi <laughs> Um, but yes, let's go inside his stable and then you can meet him properly. Come here, Thunder. Come here. Come on. Thunder is very opinionated. If I go over here, the lighting is horrible. No one can marvel at your beauty. Okay. Um, well, I say you'll be able to see him properly, but I'll probably put some videos and stuff because Thunder doesn't want to be an Instagram horse yet. I'm gonna give him some pictures while I talk. He is a Welsh Arab. Um, and he was actually an accident the way that he was born. His mum, I think, jumped the fence to be with his dad. So he's got some good jumping genes in him. And also because of his Arab, he has done a lot of endurance. My sister Alex, um, who he was her first pony. So when she was 12, I think that they got him. But yeah, that makes sense because Alex and Thunder are the same age. And Thunder is actually 10 years older than me. So at the moment he's 28 because I'm 18. Um, but no, they did a lot of endurance together and they actually won a national championship, which I think is really cool. So he is a national champion and boy does he know it, his ego is through the roof. Um, he does not believe that he is 28, he believes that he is a unbacked four-year-old at the moment. Um, the way that he is trotting up and down the field. And the reason he is here, and he wasn't in the last Meet My Horses video, is because he was actually out alone, I think I said that. And Thunder, don't escape, the door is open. Come on, let's close that. Hurry up and put me outside. Oh, my hair looks absolutely disgusting. I thought I was able to hide it well, but I didn't actually. Just put me outside, child. Hi. Hurry up. He's very demanding. But yes, so the lane home wasn't working out and we were like, you know what, you're 28, you can come back home with us. The reason he went out alone was because I got too big for him and he wasn't ready to stand in the field and do nothing then. So at the moment he's standing in the field doing nothing and then for like maybe a month or two and then we'll see whether he wants to come back into work. If he wants to come back into work, he can come back into work and if he doesn't, he doesn't have to. A little bit of his choice of what he wants to do with the rest of his life. He might throw the towel in and be like, absolutely not. I like being like a little horse on the ground. He's very cool. So I did veteran showing with him. We almost got to Olympia, but then we got snubbed because of how veteran showing works. And then he's also done a bunch of like tet and show jumping because he's just an absolute legend. But yeah, that is Thunder. Look at him. Please, just put me in the field. Oh, he's coming to get me. Hello. Oh no! Oh, I've been mobbed. Pretty cute though. He does look quite old now. They had the fire today. He's a very good boy. All right, sorry that now I'm gonna leave you for a second. I will turn him out. Um, but I thought we'd go say hello to Maria. So Maria is Alex's horse as well. I don't know why I went to get the head collar because she is staying in his stable. But Maria is awesome, I have to say. Me and all the horses are awesome because they just are. But this is Maria. So this is Maria. She has competed basically three stars. Uh, I say basically because they kind of shuffled around what the stars are, um, I think. I don't have that much, but I'm pretty sure. But she's definitely competed two star. So that's like one or two levels below the Olympics, which I think is very cool. So yeah, she has competed against like Olympians and really talented horses and she's got she's been placed in Sash as well she hasn't just competed she has been placed internationally which is very cool so I'm very very excited that she is here because hopefully by osmosis then I can I can get to an international or something I don't know if that works yeah so Maria is actually the same age as me Maria is 18 so we have two teenagers and two 20 year olds at the yard at the moment. She never really used to like all the cuddles and stuff. And I know that she's even that appreciative of it. But she is starting to enjoy them more and more. You have to hide. Everyone wants to see you. You're so pretty. But no, she is an absolute first country queen. She is an international diva. 
aren't you? Don't worry, I know. Okay. But yeah, so these are the two horses, but I'm planning on doing a little bit of pole work with them. Not too much because Maria has actually done a tendon, which is why she is back here and not with Alex and going out and do fun stuff because obviously 18, like, they can, she just still be ridden technically, but yeah, she has had a tendon and so she is here to recover and so she's off for like a year. Who knows? She might come back, she might do some show jumping, she might decide that, again, like Thunder, that she doesn't really want to do anything, but she at the moment is pretending that she's not injured and every time that I seem to let go of her in the field, she shoots off, which isn't ideal. The reason she's called Maria is a funny story because she was actually born on the same day that Maria Sharp here belonged in Wimbledon. You want the hay? What the hay for you? There you go. Why did you only want to eat it when I put you in the frame? Um, anyway, so she was born on the same day that Maria Sharapova won Wimbledon, which is why she's called Maria. And her show name used to be Sharapova, but then, I'm not entirely sure why, but we changed it to What a Prima Donna, because we think it suits her more, because she is an absolute prima donna. She wants everything done perfectly, and humans are her staff, and she runs the world. Which is a little bit of a problem, because Thunder thinks that too, and so both of them have us wrapped around their little finger at the moment which is kind of funny. Hold up. So because she's not in work, um, Alexandra said I don't have to like maintain her looks. So if you look, her forelock is absolutely tiny. There's like nothing of it. While her mane has basically grown halfway down her neck. And so <laughs> it looks a bit silly, I think, with it being all the way down here and then her having like no forelock. But that could just be a me thing. Oh, you're so cute. <gasps> Maria, come here. Give me a kiss. I think I got one. That was a bit pathetic though. Anyway, let's go turn Thunder out. You can meet his bestie friend, Tiny, who has been in the field the whole time that they've been getting their feet down. Maria is Beth at the moment because she is not doing any work. And the fairy actually said that she is self-regulating perfectly and so did not need any work done. Whereas Thunder had four shoes on and then needed two shoes off. Uh, because we're like, it'll be cheaper and you don't actually need four shoes. So he's got two shoes off and we'll see how that goes. Won't we, Thunder? Yes. And then Fred. Fred's gonna go soon. So there's gonna be like a almost a whole new yard of ponies. Um, yes, yeah, so Fred, hopefully subject to betting, will be off to a new home soon. Which is gonna be sad, but you're gonna enjoy it a hell of a lot better. Because basically, in case you didn't know, uh, the only reason that Fred's being sold is A, because he doesn't really want to do Grand Prix dress search and he likes doing jumping and I jump him like maybe once a month and so thought that he'd be a lot happier with someone who will let him do fun things a lot more. You already see that Thunder is quite underweight and I promise that since he has been back we have been trying our best to put weight on him. Uh, the only issue is that Thunder is not actually very foody pony and so he wasn't really eating his food. When I say he wasn't really eating his food, I mean that he was getting like a meat away from his bucket and turning his nose up and being like, mm, I don't want to eat that. And so we started grating carrot in it as a recommendation from my sister Alex and he's been wolfing it down and has actually started gaining weight, surprisingly, after he's actually been eating his food. Yes, yes, that was you. You didn't want to even go near your bucket. So what if I'm the drama? He's so indignant. Um, I'm going to finish up doing his rug and then you can go out to the field. He's so cute. I always forget how, how tiny he is though. But you know when you're smaller, everything seems bigger. Well, I thought he was like 16 hands. Um, but now he's, com I think he's like 13 too actually. And so him compared to Freddy, who's like 15 hands, he's so tiny, so tiny. Not as tiny as Tiny, obviously, who if you don't know is the Shetland who lives here. He's not ours. We look after him. He's very sweet. I do love him. So this is Tiny, and this is Thunder. Thunder, don't eat him, okay? They have been really good at being best friends. And Tiny's actually started trotting in the field next to Thunder. Because, um, if you didn't know, Tiny's blind, and so obviously he's trotting in the field on his own. Um, 
isn't a good idea because he could run into things even when he's like led down from the field he doesn't really know when to stop and kind of goes in curvy lines but with Thunder next to him on the other side of the fence um yeah they've been trotting about and having a great time so Thunder has been helping his new friend out which is very kind uh oh yeah there's Tiny see they're following each other the reason they're not in the same field is because Tiny as a Shetland and has like prior laminitic um, he needs to be kept off grass while Thunder we're trying to gain weight but also in a safe controlled manner because Thunder has Cushing's and is also a free laminated horse um, and so they just need different requirements for grass but hopefully one day they will be able to go in the same field I'm hoping that even if they go in one of the same fields for like daytime and then switch so they're separate for nighttime I think that would be great because I think that horses should be able to share fields and make actual friends. Sorry, I was just doing the thing. I might have had a weird face because it's not really the same having a friend over a fence line as it is being in an actual field together. So there he is in his field. You're going to have a roll. Who are you? Not for the camera. I do need to come and pay the field so because there isn't a huge amount of grass now. There's more grass than in a tiny field here. Hello, boy. Hello. So he has no idea where I am, but you're so cute. So cute. He has been here the longest. He's just so adorable. Yeah, the plan is hopefully for Thunder to go in the same field as Tiny, but we'll have to see, see what happens because they have some over when they've gone nose and nose squealed because both of them want to be at the top of the pecking order because obviously Tiny's been here the longest and so should rightfully be at the top of the pecking order, shouldn't you, mate? Um, whereas Thunder just rightfully believes that he is king. Maybe because of his arrow in him. I don't know. But he's just got quite an ego. Hello, are you coming? Oh, yep, yeah, that's me. Don't eat me, Tiny. Don't eat me. Don't knock me over. Oi! That was almost a bite. Is that a bite? Did you try and kill me? I almost get mauled by the Shetland. I'm going to bring you some hay because I said there wasn't, there wasn't a huge amount of grass. Um... And so I will go do that and then you can have something to munch at lunchtime and Thunder can hopefully get a bit more weight. I would be interested to know though whether you prefer kind of like these talking more chill videos or whether you prefer the competition vlogs or more of the like the challenge videos because I like doing all of them. Obviously these are easier to film because I don't have to go anywhere or do anything weird. Um, <laughs> but yeah, let me know. Might not be a huge amount of competition vlogs coming out because I might not have a horse for a bit, and so I can't really go and compete for that horse unless they steal someone else's, which could happen. If anyone wants to lend me a horse, go out competing. Um, but yeah, until I buy next horse and I'm happy with it, then I'm not going to go out and compete and stuff because that seems like a disaster waiting to happen. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. I haven't done one yet, but I might do like a full on introduction to me or like a riding story video because I know there are a lot of you which have recently subbed to the channel. Um, so I might need to do that. Hello, but I, I don't know whether. To, hello, hi. You're very cute. Um, yeah, this is Brad. He is missing half a lip in case you didn't know. I thought I'd put that out there because every single time I say it, someone's very surprised. Hi, hello. He does have two haynets, although he would like some treats because the tap room is open and he knows where the treats are kept, which is why he did that. He's very, very good at communicating. So I'm going to give some to Maria first um, and then give some to Freddie. one on the floor. There we go. I've got it. That was pretty, a really bad bit of the vlog. Get something new, Fred. Would you like some treats? I'm so cute. But yeah, let me know if you want like a full-on introduction video because I feel like it could be interesting. I might do one anyway because it's my channel and I can do what I want. Um, <laughs> so you might just get an introduction video. But I thought it'd be interesting because I have read it for a number of years and we've done some pretty cool things. I mean, I feel like I show these off every time, but I'm just very proud of all the plaques and championships we've been to. I don't define myself by my success, obviously, but I'm still proud of what we've been able to do together. Yes! Are you proud? Look at you. You're so cute. Yeah, that's a good point, Freddy. Okay, so I am... Um back at the yard and as I said we're doing a little bit of pole work so I'm just gonna get the poles out and then I'll take up Fred 
and then I'll do some work with Maria and Thunder. So the plan today was to put the poles out in a zigzag -ish shape. I saw it online, I can't remember exactly where, but basically you can do lots of different exercises with it, which I'm going to show you how I did them differently with Maria, Thunder and Freddie, because obviously each of them have different skill sets. Okay, so this is the final array of poles. Um, I kind of, I saw it online and I thought that looks quite interesting, so I thought I would try it out. I don't normally do a lot of pole work, but I thought it would be an exercise that all of the ponies could do, um, just kind of get them moving and grooving about, do lots of different things, get their mind working. Um, I didn't feel like doing the whole tack up because that's a lot of my videos and so I thought it would get a bit boring. But I don't really see, but I'm wearing a little black heart equestrian gilet. Sponsor me Erin if you want to. Um, because I thought I'd challenge, um, challenge. I thought I'd try and, what's it? I thought I'd try and channel some dressage rider vibes um, because she's really not to Grand Prix and run to Europeans. Ready, come back here. Charles, thank you. Um, pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, so I thought that, yeah, we'd try and channel that and see if we can be a Grand Prix all today. Oh, this is going terribly. What is going wrong? It's been a minute since I found someone who makes me want to know a thing about love, but oh my god, I'm seeing He's not running off, I don't think. Okay, I've got my water, my gloves, I have a stick. I know some people don't like using them, and I've also got spares on, but um, I can take them off and put them away if he doesn't need them. I just thought I'd warm up with them because I normally do. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> I was going on GoPro because I thought it'd be fun to see if I was actually straight on the poles or whether I was lying to myself. He looks so enthusiastic, but I think he's going to enjoy it because he hasn't done poles in a little while. Please don't get my saddle cover completely disgusting with your nose. Um, yeah, let's get cracking. Okay, I'm up. Here he is, the boys. There are some channels in the field next to the field that I'm riding in, so it could be a little bit interesting. And he hasn't really done poles in a while. I mean, like jumping or anything, because I said I don't really jump. Um, so it could be a little bit interesting, but I'm gonna warm up because that's a little bit boring for you guys to watch. And then we will get started on the pole exercises. Fred is going very well. He's a little bit spicy, so I did take away my stick because A, my hands weren't very good, so I didn't feel like it was fair to warm the stick while my hands were being stupid. Um, <laughs> and then um, he's a little bit spicy because he was actually clipped not that long ago. And so I haven't actually schooled him since he was clipped, which might be why he's a little bit more excited than usual. Um, well, I'm just gonna grab a drink. Stay hydrated. I've already been drinking that much throughout the day. And also I'm trying to focus on my seat and stuff being better. And so obviously that takes it out of me a little bit more. Um, I don't know if anyone else drinks while they're riding. Um, not like alcoholically, but like <laughs> water and stuff or squash because I kind of get tired. It might be because I am wearing a puffer. I might take it off in a minute, but I, I just, it's hard work riding, you know? <laughs> Don't judge me. I have been working out and trying to get a fitter, but I'm just a bit feeble, okay? After putting my water to the side, it was then okay. time to check your girth. Then I could begin the exercise. The first thing I did was to come around the corner and go straight down the middle of the poles. The problem I was that my, um, well, you'll see in a minute, my GoPro kind of cut out, but we did end up going straight down the middle of the poles. The GoPro is not GoProing today, so I took it off because um, it was, it's an extra weight on my head, but no, it just keeps getting disconnecting. So I'm going to try and film with my phone. It's just not always going to so to combat the blurry videos that you're about to see, I don't know why it didn't focus, it was focusing while it was on the hedge. Yeah, anyway, you can see Freddie going straight down the middle. Um, I'm going to try and make the commentary a little bit more interesting. So this, we are doing like one pole and then we're going to do a circle and do another pole. So this is working on Fred A, going where I want him to go and staying on straightness, but also a little bit of suppleness. So keeping him bending around the corners and then going straight over that next pole. The next step up in this exercise is to do a smaller turn, so more of an arc between each of the furthest poles. You can do this on both reins, and so I don't know if that's what I'm doing next. No, I'm not. I'm then doing the smaller circle on the other rein. So as you can see, because there is zigzag, you can kind of go smaller and smaller with your turns between them. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but I think I'm going for the smallest one. This one's interesting because you could do the smallest turn kind of both ways, so that way I kind of cheated and we didn't really do much of a turn. 
Um, I don't know if you'll see me do the other way, but yeah, here's me doing it on the other rein, so starting with the biggest, and then I should then be going for the smallest one next. So you'll see that I'm arching towards, going between the two next ones, and then eventually I will be doing the two blue poles in the middle to do the smallest ones. Here Freddie lost a bit of momentum going around that corner, um, but he made the, made the turn pretty good. Stepping up to Canto made this exercise a lot harder. As you can see, he went to trot between the turn. That might be due to the field actually being on a little bit of a slope. So when we came around this, when I tried really hard to keep him going and collecting him, and so he actually was able to make the turn, uh, going through the poles in the middle to keep his brain working and working on that straightness again. Um, obviously, suppleness is needed before you can have straightness, but it's always good to practice both those. Freddie is getting very, very supple at the moment. Um, so here's another exercise. So kind of going for a little bit of a turn between the poles, which is good for suppleness, I think. I'm not a trainer. I don't really have any qualifications. I'm just talking rubbish. Um, no, but I'm sure it is good for like straightness and stuff. I have to say, watching Freddie go over these poles while working on our straightness, keeping straight, I am very impressed with how much elevation his back legs have, um, how much he's stepping under, and all that muscle tone. I'm very, very proud of him. So, I can't remember what exercise that we're doing. I think, yeah, we're doing more turns and things. That was a bit of a rubbish trot. Oh, here's me. This is what we're doing. We're doing the smaller circle, um, which is a lot tighter. Obviously, I guess I could have elongated that and made it easier, but I wanted to test ourselves today. So I think you've already heard me say, but the main things I was working on in today's power work session were to get Fred's trots going forward, as well as working on our suppleness, because those are two things that keep on coming up in tests, but also things that we've just been generally working on for quite a while. So this one with the turns, as we felt, was quite good, and I could feel the difference between his left rein and his right rein. So he's a little bit stiffer in his right rein. I can't speak. I'm really tired, so I am saying right rein but I'm sorry if those words are blurring together. So I quite like this one. I always think of it as bubbles and I did it on the other rein, but that was basically all we did today. Um, and he was a very, very good boy. Okay, so that was all blurry, but I hope you enjoyed my commentary. I think I did commentary because that was very fun. Obviously, the camera's not the best, so. But just giving him a little bit of You're gonna go straight over these? We're wiggling, we're wiggling. There we go, come on, last ones. Yeah, you're such a good boy, you're such a good boy. I love him so much. I'm gonna be sad when he goes. Um, yes, I'd recommend that. That was very fun. I do think my mind too, as well as his. It's got, come on, Fred, don't eat the grass. See, the only downside of being in a field is eat the grass. Come on, some treats. After telling Fred how cool he was, it was then time to put him in the stable. But I want more treats. Hmm, I do like my bed though. Winter, the light is actually going, and obviously because I ride the field, there's no floodlights. Um, which the field isn't a bad thing. It's just obviously it's winter, and I live in Britain, so the light gets less in winter. I don't like winter. Anyway, I think I don't think I'm gonna have time to do the poles with the oldies. Um, I say oldies like Maria and Butler. That's what I meant. Um, and so I might do them tomorrow. If not, then the vlog will end now. You might see more of them on like my Instagram, my TikTok, and obviously on here on YouTube. Um, all my socials are linked down below. And yes, very fun day today. It's the next day. Um, well, yes, it is the next day. I'm gonna get Maria brushed, and then she can walk over some poles. And then I'll bring Thunder down, and he can walk over them as well. Uh, yes, as I said, because they're not in for work or anything. Um, I just thought it would be good for their mind. Also because Maria wasn't great to catch this morning. Uh, she did really good. The other day she walked straight over to me for Ed and Head Colour. Um, but I can, I think she's getting a little bit bored again. So I just thought, spice things up and I get her mind working. And then I thought that no one would enjoy it because he really loves show jumping. And although the poles aren't raised, he'd still probably appreciate getting over the poles. Hi, 
we go. Um, so Maria is in the field. Uh, we are just going to walk around a little bit and then I'll get her gear of the poles because it's very exciting. As I said, my main aims with Thunder and Maria while using the poles is more as a mental exercise to get their brains working and them seeing new places because Thunder and Maria never used to live here. And so they aren't too familiar with the schooling field at all. They're more used to being worked in a like an arena or out hacking. Uh, well, also out in cross country courses and stuff. But getting them to not actually eat the grass is a mental challenge enough as it is and so adding the poles just gets them thinking with maria i like to add some stopping by standing next to her and then getting her to walk forward again by just using my body language and asking her to walk on with my voice um she finds that not too difficult but it does get her mind working and thinking about different things rather than just following me aimlessly um so i think i'm gonna come around and do that again i'm gonna get her to stop over one of the poles at some point i don't know if it's this one i think it might be nah it's the next one coming up um so that also gets her mind working of not knowing where she has to stop and trying to figure that out uh, I took her down the middle of them to have a look at her straightness. Um, I don't think I did that on a loose rein so that she had to work that out more in herself rather than following me where to go, which also was good. Yeah, it's this one where I'm going to come and make her stop in front of the pole. And so obviously she's not used to that. She's normally used to going over the pole straight away to be over it. So she's stopping over them and then I'm going to make her carry on. Um, she was quite confused, but the more I did this, the more she kind of understood what i was trying to ask her to do um which is good i'm then asking her to go actually through the point in a second um which obviously is a bit of a challenge for her because oh it wasn't that one sorry we're going over the poles again i said i haven't looked at this footage in a while as you can see now she isn't actually bothered too much about the grass then she put her head down again but was like oh no we are actually working so i probably shouldn't be eating um she's very very calm and very cute um, so we're going down the middle of the poles again and this time she was actually much better at keeping straight on her own I think because she understood what was going on um, Just turning and doing lots of different things with her I say lots of different things just keeping her mind working and thinking because at 18 years old She still has a lot of brain power and intelligence She's actually incredibly clever and is figuring out everything that I'm doing with her pretty quickly um, She's also clicker trained which Alexandra has done with her So there are some apple trees along here, and we're going to try and find some apples for her to eat. So, let's see if there are some apples here. You got it? You need to, you need to bite it off the tree. Oh no, it fell off! I've got one here. There you go! Is that a big one? What? Should go pick that up. Do you like it? No one's holding on to you, Maria. Please don't run away. There we go. Should I try and get another one? Are you going to try and eat the apples? You get some houses built next to where your horses are, and then the builders can drop apples into the hedge line, and then you get like five apple trees for free. Come on. Maria, don't run away. There we go. All right then. Let's go. Let's go back home. Let's go back to your stable. Where are you? The sun is always blinding me in my camera. Come on. Oh, she's so cute. I hope Alex appreciates. Maria's being looked after well. At least I think she's being looked after well. <laughs> but even though Thunder is 28, uh, I have some like look, look at snack treats uh, because he has been known to be a pain to catch. And so I want to be able to catch him. So I'm going to try and entice him with these. The man, there he is. He's looking a little bit grumpy, but he's going to have so much fun on you. Where are you? There you go, you're gonna have so much fun through the poles. Oh, he's such a grumpy old man. I'm going too. You look quite happy. Is it because your friend's nearby? Oh, sorry, Tiny. You won't be able to see the poles. Just like with Maria, I'm just gonna walk him around for a little bit so that he can see what's happening. Because he's been in here like once before in his lifetime. So it's a new space for him. 
and then we can start getting over the puddles. Walking him around the field not only got him used to the environment so that he could see everything, but it also meant that he could loosen up a little bit because although he'd been in the field, we had to walk around. Um, he still likes to stand and munch on grass and not move as much as obviously he's doing here. Next I just took him over one pole so that I could see what he was thinking of them um, because I was slightly worried that he'd kind of charge off and be like oh my god poles show jumping this is so exciting but luckily he has mellowed in his old age and was quite happy to just wander over the poles. Uh, I did end up bringing him up to a trot because he seemed a little bit happy to do it and I thought you know why not but that's kind of more at the end of the session. Um, but as you can see, he is very, very happy to just wander over the poles as is. I'm hoping that maybe soon when he's feeling a little bit better and happier himself that we could maybe do some free jumping or something um, because I don't know if he wants to be ridden again but he's not quite at the point where I can go without exercising him or doing anything because I don't think he wants to just stand in the middle of the field. Um, he did the centre not as good as the other two so he was wiggling quite a lot going in between which is not surprising seeing as he's 28 and so doesn't quite have as much muscle as Maria or Freddie would because although Maria hasn't been ridden properly for a little while she has been up to three star and so knows what she's doing while Thunder has not been ridden and exercised at that level for quite a while and so he obviously has lost a bit of muscle tone and so staying straight especially with his lack of suppleness as a 28 year old is showing which is I don't know not a hugely bad thing um he did want to eat the grass every now and then because he was like oh my god it's a massive field which is not unsurprising but just taking him over the poles and taking my time with him and allowing him to work at his pace uh we did do the turn which I was very happy that he was able to make he didn't quite bend three round his body but as a first session of me working in hand with him I was really pleased with how he was moving I then took him round again a little bit of a <laughs> sorry I'm just watching this back and he just tried to eat the grass um I tried to do a bit of a tide to turn with him and he wasn't entirely happy I think that's why he tried to eat the grass because yeah he wasn't he wasn't happy um just taking him through this one I think was when I took him through the point and he was quite confused he tried to just stay straight over on the poles um so he wasn't a huge fan of me messing with him like that um, but then I took him through and we did that tight turn, which again, he didn't bend through the whole of his body, but I was very pleased with him that he was actually able to make it and hit the middle kind of marker of each of the poles because all of them stripes on. Now, although Thunder has a magnificent extended trot, which obviously he was able to use in his endurance days when he became a national champion, sorry if I keep going on about that, I'm just incredibly proud of Thunder and Alex, um, I was slightly worried that he'd be really stiff or I'd keep banging his feet on the poles, but he didn't really touch them once. He did have a bit of a cough, but I was very proud of him. Thunder. Okay, so I did manage to get this GoPro working. Um, shame it didn't work on the hat cam, but I'm gonna help and find some apples. Still can't even roses. Thunder says no. It's always been a very fussy eater, so I'm not surprised. Um, yeah, I just thought he might want some fresh apples, but clearly not. I'm gonna chuck his rug on and then he can go back out to the field. In hindsight, putting his rug on in the field was pretty a bad idea because he kept trying to eat the grass, but it was also easier than taking him through the stable yard and onto the stones because he's had both of his back shoes taken off. So he does find walking on the stones a little bit tricky. Right, and the reason that I did him in here is because from his field, you can actually like walk all the way to the schooling field. Good, look, it's your busy mate. Do you want to say hello? That's not a very happy face, Thunder. No? Uh, okay, bye Tiny! I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope I tried to make it seem a little bit exciting. I am going to give Fred a quick school and then I'll see you in the next one. I think I'm hooked on you, baby.